Hello gang, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, sequel chunk, sequel chunk, it's a good sequel chunk. Uh, the Dark World! I don't know if I use the Dark World yet. So, uh, this episode we're going to church! Yay, time to get holy! Father waits above. Traitor. Traitor Amalthus. The boy has arrived, Your Eminence. Thank you. I'm guessing that's the priest we saw in the in the one cut scene. So you're Rex. I've heard much. Hi, uh, you're not the Praetor, are you? Uh, no way. Indeed. I am Amalthus. I understand your surprise. I imagine you expected somebody older. <laughs> we heard that you were Cole's driver. Your, your eminence. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no need for formalities. I am a mere representative of the Praetorium. The name Praetor is simply a decoration, if you will. In any case, we're the same, you and I. Aegis drivers. I consider us equals. <laughs> I feel a bit better now you put it that way. Your eminence. <laughs> You're different somehow. I seem to recall a more forceful personality. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. I got this from Cole. He said it belonged to you. Please. Ah, Cole. That brings back memories. Beep, beep. 
it's done, it's done. We're looking for a way to release him. Cole told us that you would know the way. I have to get to Elysium to, to save all rest any way I can. I mean, we won't know for sure what we can do until we get there, I suppose. But if the stories are true, it's somewhere we can all live safely. It has to be real. Long ago, too long ago, I used to think like you. Oh crap. You had let me to climb the world tree. However, I did not find the museum. Or the architect. I believe it was because I was unworthy. Rex, I know your desire all too well. I shall help you on your quest. Really? Oh, thank you so much. No need for thanks. This may be my destiny. The reason I've lived all these years. And now... Pyra. My name is Pyra. I would be honored to have a moment alone with Pyra. I'd like to reminisce a little. Mm -hmm. Was he being possessed by malice or something? So Let's old man that. Cole really did know the Praetor. Who'd have thought? World is small place. Will Pyra be okay by herself? He's the traitor, Dimwit. What's he gonna do? Eat her? <laughs> Back there. I felt something weird for a second. What? Um... Rex? It felt... like we were talking to that Malos guy. You're imagining things. You know he's Malos's driver and it's messing with your head. They not seem alike to me. No, I know. It was just for an instant. Just this one moment where I couldn't tell if we were talking to the Praetor or Malos. Sorry. I'm not explaining it well. There are blades who are influenced a lot by their drivers during resonance. Their appearance, their personality. That's probably all it is. Perhaps it was due to your bond with Pyra. That could have heightened your perception of such things. It was painted 1,500 years ago. Even through exposure to the elements, it has never needed repair, always as pristine as the day it was made. The technique is long forgotten. I often wonder if we are growing as a people, or in fact, regressing. What do you think? Well, I'm just amazed at how little you've changed. Has nobody ever wondered about that? I am Indoline, and the driver of an Aegis. It keeps me young. If you say so. Yeah, you're a bad guy. What is now, though? You've never let anyone go there before, have you? Times change, Mithra. So do people. That's not an answer. I would like to believe there is one who can reach the architect and save this dying world. Is that really so strange? And Rex is the one. Would you have resonated with him if he did not hold such potential? Sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. That, that was kind of abrupt. Welcome back! How was it, Pyra? Wesley Hughes was just talking with Mithra. They knew each other before, right? Yes. Honored guests, 
Oh, Fan, you must be tired after today's event, so please rest here another night. She may have a point. All you really did was talk to Praetor Malthus, but I feel quite worn out. Let's take them up on that offer. Yeah, sounds like a good plan. Torn, torn on a check! Want to sleep on a fluffy puffy bed every night! Well, let's return to the Sanctum. So we're already tired? That's a little suspicious. I mean, actually, this warp there. Whatever. We can. What's the good block ever hurt anybody for? Yeah, I think in Xenoblade 1, you actually got experience points by just walking. I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but, um. That's sort of what I remember. Like, based on the walkthrough I watched. About to be attacked by Torna, should have figured. Poor guy. The soldiers are like level 8, so <laughs> it's a real pity. Still intact after all these centuries. Amazing. Pinnacle of flesh eater technology. Tenacious creatures, humans. Oh. I'm so sorry to do this to you. going to enjoy fighting that boss. I see. Very well. It appears Senator Roderick paid a visit to the Praetorium last night, off the record. Did you know that? No. I haven't heard anything from His Majesty. Why now, I wonder? I can't imagine he was just paying his respects. Do you think it's something to do with the excavation? Temperantia? Hmm. The issue His Majesty mentioned. If that is the case... He must be making covert deals with the Praetorium. Crush that man. Sincere apologies, everyone, but I come with an urgent request. Please go to the audience chamber at once! Where actually is that place? Is that... is that, um, close to this area? I imagine it is, because that's probably what they're about to alert me about. <laughs> imagine, um, 
Temperantia or whatever whatever that place is, the fleshier technology. That's in the, the close to this region. Otherwise, why would it why would we even see those cutscenes while we're in this area? Because we're obviously about to deal with it right now. So it's gotta be in the same vicinity. Oh, before they uh, skip the staircase for us, I think, but now you have to walk up the stairs. <laughs> Audience chamber. Probably a freaking warp up here that we skimped out on. Temperantia, think of it as a buffer between the two nations. We've received word of fighting in the area. More Ardain are in possession of a Titan weapon. They're advancing as we speak towards the Orion garrison. Impossible! Well, the two countries' titans are at their closest right now. You're saying we were waiting for a chance to strike? Unthinkable. Our people would never go to war against His Majesty's will. At any rate, we must investigate. Yes, you're right. Praetor, I beg your leave. We need to find out what's going on. Your Eminence. Thank you. Your Eminence, we... Might I ask you to assist Special Inquisitor Morag in her investigation? Well, yeah, I want her in my party. No reason to refuse, and you needn't worry about me. I am quite grateful to hear that. Let's go after them. Hurry. Oh, and she's not in my party. Terrific. She's still in the place. Is there a warp point up here? It'd be weird if there's not a warp up here. <coughs> Hi, Hector. Hector seems interesting. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that actually got us, so. So it's just a door that we can't enter for some reason. I assume it's just going to open later. It's like we can't even select the door and it says it's locked. It just So it seems like that door just does nothing, and I'm pretty sure it's going to do something. So... Is there a heart to heart anywhere? I guess we're going that way. And we're you. Let us go. I don't get how we're still making these clip cloppy sounds on grass. I mean, when we're walking across this pavement, this walking Ready sound makes sense. <laughs> when we're walking on grass, Safely. But when we're walking on grass, it just shouldn't make any sound. Just like, I don't get why they couldn't change the sound effect for the grass. Who? Who's responsible for this? Preparations are still ongoing. If we attack now, oh, so, we that, so that that guy's just here. Senator Interesting. Roderick. Special Inquisitor, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? The Emperor ordered that the dig be halted. He was very specific, Senator. If you've restarted it, you have violated His Majesty's will. The Emperor doesn't understand Moradin's urgent lack of resources. This is for the Empire. Your patriotism is touching. But that doesn't explain why you're waging war with Uriah! It wasn't me. I did not give that order. Even I would never dream of declaring war without His Majesty's express consent. So who in the... Morak? Who? Who are these people? Busting in here. This is the driver of the Aegis. You are to afford him the same respect as me. This is him? I heard the rumors, but this boy? 
There are rumours now. Wow. Am I really that famous? Do you have any idea how much it costs to repair a water tower? It's a lot. <laughs> so less famous, more infamous. Morag? Is Morardain really attacking? They are, as much as I hate to admit it. Tell me, what's going on? Tricky indeed. If this escalates into all-out war... The timing is all wrong. We can't win this fight. Not now. Sounds like you were planning to start this sooner or later, slime rat. Can he join our party? Accusations for now. But the Empire never really wanted a war, did it? That core crystal. Don't tell me you're the... Answer me. You're right. Mithra? Who stands to gain from an Ardanian Orion war? Who gains? You don't mean. Jin and Torna. It's very possible. But how? Maybe just coincidence after all? Master Pawn. I wish I could believe that. Inquisitor Morag, please. You are the only one who can put a stop to this. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? But I'm not going to sit back and watch. Bridget? Right. Morag. Rex, this is an Imperial matter. We can't ask for your aid in this affair. Not if it's really a coincidence, like Tora said. But, if Tona are really involved, doesn't that make this our problem too? But, think of it as compensation for the water tower. How's that? I knew you'd go there. You're so noble, it hurts. Very well. Can I ask you to help me again? Yep, we're on the case. Yes, of course. I'll accompany you. Fan? What's happening in Temperantia right now? It's being led by a weaponized Titan, correct? My power doesn't only affect blades. It also works against Titans. I am certain I can be of assistance. That's worrisome. Besides? Besides? I have the strangest feeling that... <laughs> I'm somehow meant to be there. Fan Lenorn. You. I feel like she's gonna use that power against us. So how do we get to Temperentia? The Senator Roderick is here. I assume there must be an Ardenian military vessel stationed at the port. Can we go to port to get an Ardenian Titan battleship? Alright then, there's no time to waste. Let's go! Alright, she's back. I love how I have precisely 333 three, three HP. Um, okay, I was gonna look at the Mercury. What? We'll handle ourselves better and better. This will be good for some. Ooh, a turf war. I love Splatoon. Ha! <laughs> I'll do it. What's the plan, boss? Got it. I imagine I'll fit right in. I won't let I'll you down. I'll let you do my Alright, time to shortcut out of here.
Hey, remind me again where we're bringing this banner. Because this sounds like fun. Join our party? On holiday. I've heard a lot about these Torna people. They're the ones collecting core crystals, yeah? And besides, I can't pretend this doesn't concern us too. Not when they're calling themselves Torna. Shall I? Yeah. Yes, he's in the party. And he's the same level as Morag, uh, coincidentally. Okay. Um. All right. Let's help him out with Tor for now. We're keeping Nia out because she's our healer. Not just because I like her. We definitely like her, of course. Before we do go, I did see a side quest. I feel like we're not doing that many side quests, so... Yeah, why not? We're here. I don't know. I, I guess mostly because I feel like side quests don't reward much EXP, especially depending on what they are. Like, I... Like... I can do the enemy killing quests, I don't like the fetch quests. Like when you have to get certain materials and junk. Hey Mololo. Oh friends listen to Mololo. Mololo I have a little problem right now. Maybe friends can help. Something wrong? I oh, really just want friends to ask you questions of warrior monks in the sanctum. Well there's something instead a number of guards in sanctum at night. What? Okay okay, this guy's plotting a robbery. For reals. Friends might not guess, one of those budding journalists wanting to write article about security of Indol, but then captured by zealous old preacher man during investigating. I was so busy listening in that Molo cannot investigate anything. So friends can investigate instead, quick quick, we'll take care of it. And hey, since we have uh, five party members now, we just got a new party member. Um, doing side quests for experience would be pretty cool. But seriously, this guy is just... Seriously, this guy is just planning a robbery. Alright, alright, so we actually have to go inside the temple. And we're you. Let us go. I think this food's ready. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm helping someone commit a robbery. Oh no. <laughs> You're all mine. It's like so he's a like he's a journalist. He's a journalist that wants to interview the guards about the security. And we're helping him do that. Yeah. Whoa, who are you? I'm just sucking off, I swear. So the thing is, research, you're looking into the security of Indol? Oh go on then. I'll tell you what you want to know. Just don't mention me in that article, okay? There are twenty three guards here at night. Is that all you were after? Now I'm gonna get back to my guard station, so please don't tell anyone you saw me here. Alright, that that alright, that was enjoyable. <laughs> this music is just so weird. I mean I mean yeah, the music definitely fits the atmosphere of a church. It's just I can't remember playing that many church levels in video games. That's why hearing this that's why hearing this church music is so interesting. Now, the only other church level I can think of is Banjo Kazooie in Man Monster Mansion. That's the only church I can think of in a video game. Temple of Time, definitely. That was sort of a church. And it had and it did have eerie music kinda like this, this eerie chanting. I could have sworn there was more inside the temple. Oh. Am I just... Is that all? Is that all? We just had to talk to that one person and then the quest is done? Or at least this part of it? I guess or maybe that happened to be the only person that would have given us info. And, that, and I just lucked out big time. I don't know. Well, let's just see what happens next.
It's only a really creepy place, but I'm digging it. Put it back. Welcome back, friends. Why do we guard the sanctum at night? Thanks so much for valuable info. Dear Molo, you wouldn't happen to be plotting anything unsavory again now, would you? <laughs> Let's look at his curved eyebrows. He's totally a robber. You know, why Molo will plot things? Molo just here to listen to very inspiring talks about glorious teachings of Prince Malthus. Very well, I'll trust you in this. Really? By the by, perhaps you could ask these fine people to deliver the item we were discussing to my Lucio. It is really necessary. Your path forward will not reveal itself until you take action, young one. Okay then. Could friends do one more little favor for Malolo? Malolo will friends deliver a platinum music box to Malusio at Goethe's port. Leave it to the Zekinator! My thanks to you all. Young Molo, your future will surely be blessed by the architect. Good luck with Erend. Okay. Interesting. Okay, it's right next to the warp, so that's not very far at all. Let's go. Onwards. Here you go. What's this he have brought? A platinum music box? Why, oh, this is the very same music box that was stolen from me. I see. So you are the culprits. Cut and turn yourselves in. Is that it? What? Then I shall pass judgment to the name of the Praetor of Malthus. So here's the thing, yeah? Oh, you were just asked to bring this by Nopon named Molo. You know where I might find this Nopon for a chance? Please, take me to him. Evildoers must be judged. Got it. Yeah, he, he really was a robber. Apparently we're, we're returning something that he stole. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This is a funny side quest we wandered into, but I like it. And we're you. Now just go. Okay, just gotta just bag this robber. Molo, offer deepest gratitude to friends for completing errand. This is Molo. Molo, and you're sure he is a new opponent who stole my platinum music box? He does not strike me as a dastardly criminal. Chief of Guard Mozuma, first correct, Molo, a sinful Nopon, has made many terrible mistakes, but wonderful old man Sephirian, kindly grant Molo forgiveness in the name of Praetor Malthus. Molo has changed Nopon, devoted the path of goodness. We must, we must trust in young Molo's words. Nobody is beyond salvation. The Praetor's teachings and the glory of Indol has saved this poor sinner's soul. My dream is to convey the Praetor's teachings to all the people of Alrest. Old man Sephirian, most wise, Molo follow teachings for all life now. The devout Master Sephirian is convinced. I suppose it is not my place to argue. And that's another problem I'm all sorted out. Thanks to friends, Molo is free from life of sin. My dear friends, you have saved poor young Molo from his own sinful heart and righted his past wrongdoings. Would you care to become my disciples? Sorry, but no. But I'd like to study teachings with friends. Very much disappoint. Ah yes, Molo tells me he has caused you all a great deal of trouble, correct? Please take this as compensation. It is only right that a master should atone for his disciples' failings. This is of little use to me with my oath of nonviolence, but perhaps he will find some use for it. Like, why did he want us to ask about the security? He's totally planning a robbery. It's decent experience, I think. Alright. Well, that was, uh... I'm glad we picked that side quest. That was a fun little quickie. Any more quests around here? Nope. I mean, I'm gonna just uh, swing around by other regions just to activate some side quests. I'll see you later.